Well today we have here what is this device to which. We are going to be able to recover it in a very easy and simple way. In this video tutorial we are going to use a fully. Updated method for those people who want to recover it. We also have other totally different methods. In the video description and in the first pinned comment. Those people who want to solve the problem of. Recovering their device can go a in. The video description and in the first comment we have method without PC and method by PC. For those people who do not have a method, do not have a PC can go to the description of this video. As we can see in the previous videos we did, some methods where we could recover our device. Previously we could do it with a emergency number according to self-pay and it loaded what was a Google Maps. When that Google Maps loaded we could Enter directly from here by pressing quickly. But these functions are no longer working. These devices are quite updated, for those who did not work. They do not work now that these devices have advanced. The first thing we are going to do now is connect to a Wi-Fi network. We are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network to start the process. Previously we could also enter here for policy and privacy. We clicked here and from here it could take us and we could share. But these latest updates already allow us, it allows us to enter from here. We can no longer enter from this method. These methods are totally outdated, archived method. So as we can see this little padlock on the left side. Top, we are left with this device with that little padlock. We are going to hit jump, we are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We connect and we are going to begin the recovery process, we connect. Now we are going to give our device a tour so that you can see that it is totally blocked since it has a screen lock and finally it has the forgotten Gmail account. We are going to get to where that lock is. Apart from the screen lock, we are now left with the Google account. With the Gmail account. Yeah, we also want to tell those people who always watch our video tutorial and are always active that we have a uh, YouTube enabled the member community session for us. What's the benefit of that community of members? Well, they'll see the videos in advance. What other benefit would there be if we were publicly available and also responded to those comments? Those people who write to us from there we will answer the comments. We will also be sending you some video tutorials for those who do not need other totally different methods. We will be us uh, sending you new methods. Here we had also said that ah uh, for those people who because this method that we are going to do today we are going to do a method totally for the pc this method is a video tutorial for pc for those people who do not have a pc can go to the description of the video and in the first pinned comment you will be able to find methods without pc ah uh, well here we can see that this device asks us for a screen lock here it asks us what the google account is here it asks us for the Google account for those people who still know the email and password. I always recommend writing the email. After you write the email correctly, click next, write the password and it will give you access to your device without having to see the full video tutorial. It also gives you an alternative. If you do not know the email or the password, you can recover it with your phone number. Write your phone number, when you verify it they will send a PIN. A code to your phone number, you write that code in the phone number. I mean write the code that you received on your phone. Write it here and it will also give you access to recover your device. There are several ways to do it. But if you don't know any of these options then I recommend you watch. The video tutorial step by step until the end so that you can solve 
This problem of this operation is we had told you we are going to use a PC. What are we going to do on the PC? I always recommend this. Before you run the program that we are going to use today in this video. Tutorial, it is advisable to disable the antivirus. This is as a precaution so that the program does not block us. We are going to do this temporarily. Then we can enable our antivirus again. Now we are going to go to the PC and we are going to explain what we are going to do. Well we are going to go here on our PC. We go here and we go to our antivirus, we go to our antivirus. Here we go to the left where it says virus. And threat protection here we are going to go down and we go where it says manage settings. Here we are going to deactivate this first option. After it is deactivated we are going to go to our browser here we are going to write our official page is where you will be able to download was the program. You will be able to download it from here you will download it directly from here from. Here you will be able to download it right exactly as it appears here on the screen David Cell. Just as it sounds you will write it Cell I am going to spell it for you. Vicelli this page that appears here will appear you will also be able to find. A link in the description of the video that would take you directly you will click. Here it would take us in these entries you will find many methods both by PC. And by device you will be able to find it here. You will go to the last option. The last thing here you will be able to find this entry that says. Davicel apps Davicel applications you will also be able to enter directly from there. Enter directly from here, when you enter here it would take you to this section. You will be able to find these methods here, you will find many different methods. You will go down, you will go down, you will go down. You will go down here you will be able to find. The tool that we are going to use today in this video tutorial. This would be the tool that we are going to use in this video tutorial. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, after you download this tool? Here you will be able to find the drivers, the tool also has a password. You will find it directly there, after you download it. You deactivate the antivirus, you are going to run the tool with right click. You run it, you say yes, you click next. Next, next here the tool is going to open. It is going to open, when it is completely installed. Completely sorry, we are going to click here on finish, now the tool is going to open. It is going to open automatically, here there will be a shortcut here next to it. In some cases the antivirus activates itself and blocks the program. Now we are going to click here where it says start session. We are going to click here where it says start session. We hope the program opens here we are going to do the following. Here what we are going to do now is this right. Well uh let's see this then what we are going to do. Here we can find the drivers, you can install it according to the processor, install it. This is from the device that we are going to use today, today is MediaTek. Uh we are also going to be able to find this option that says install lip USB. It is advisable to install this driver, why? Because I am going to explain to you here I have it installed. After you install it you will give this option. It will give you this option, here you will be able to install those that are not installed. How to know that I have the drivers installed? You will click here it says remove here all the drivers will appear. Like me as you see I have Mediate already installed, it is installed. For those people who do not have it installed it will appear there. It will appear here, it appears but when we do the process. When we install the program. When we run the device that we connect it will appear here. You will select it quickly and click on install so that it is installed automatically. That said, we will click here in service. We click on service here we will click here where it says reset FRP. We have two options, do it by this one or do it by this one. We are going to click here. 
Here now what we are going to do is turn off the device, we are going to turn it off. After we turn it off we wait 10 seconds and we are going to connect. What is the USB cable well here it restarted my phone we are going to wait for it to restart well we come back again. We are going to click here again we are going to do it by second time. We connect it. We are going to connect it. Wait for it to recognize it. We are going to wait for it to recognize it and do the process. Correctly. We are going to wait, we wait a few seconds. If we see that from here it does not recognize the device by the processor. If we see that the device restarts and it comes out file then. We are going to do it because they are not the drivers because the driver does not appear here. So what we are going to do is go here then the brand we are going to go. The brand this is a Xiaomi search here Xiaomi here is. A Xiaomi this is a Xiaomi I am going to search here the Xiaomi model. Under here I am going to select a Xiaomi A3. Here I have the Xiaomi A3 model, I am going to select that model. Ready, and now we are going to do the same process, we are going to click here on reset FRP. I am going to turn it off, turn it off wait 10 seconds, we click here on reset fair. P if my Redmi A3 we are going to wait for it to turn off completely. Now that it is off we connect it. We are going to connect it again, we are going to see the drivers here. Those people as I had told you if the driver appears. Here you click here and click on install. This is only for people who see the drivers. Click there and click on install. Here here if it did not come out successfully as you can see it says fair p reset successful. Let's see that they mark it, here it is, successful, it appears in green, it appears successful. Here our device has restarted, we can now disconnect the device. We disconnect it, now that we have disconnected it. We are going to wait until our phone completely restarts. When our phone completely restarts we will be able to configure it and it would take us directly to the beginning, well. AI always recommend for those people who do not have a watch the video tutorial step by step. For those people who do not have a PC we have left methods in the description of the video and in the first pinned comment so that they can give it a solution and recover your device. We have several methods without PC in the video description. Let's configure it, let's finish configuring our phone. We will click here, we will click on skip. Again we will click on skip quickly. We will wait, we click on skip here. We will wait until it takes us directly, I always recommend this. When we do the recovery of our phone we always have some errors. How do we correct these errors? I will explain the error. Now it will give us access here to create, add an account or skip the account. Here I recommend better to skip the account. Do not add any account, do not add any account. Click on skip or skip, now why? Because our phone when we recover it with any program we always have some errors that the application stopped, that the operating system continues to fail or that the phone is very slow. So in this way you will be able to recover it and you will completely eliminate those errors. It is better to eliminate all that from the beginning because you configure it like that then it will be completely with those errors. That is why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by step so that you do not you can miss any details and you can solve and recover your device. We're going to click, we're going to click here. 
Wait a few more seconds and it would give us access to our device and as we had said how we correct the error of this of this tool because these always send us an error. I'll explain to you, we wait here until this step passes and we solve that problem. We wait a few seconds, we're going to wait. Ready, now it would take us directly to what is home. Now that we are here in home we are going to go to the next thing. We are going to wait here. We wait, we are going to wait here. Look at this already, it is an error that left us with a black screen. Look if you see that we are stuck. So what we are going to do is look for settings here in settings. We go to system and in system we are going to click on reset. We reset all these errors, here it is. If you see that they are slow it is too slow. We reset all that and we would have a device free of any errors. We configure it again as we did a while ago.